So in the second part of Django deployment, we will be uh, making uh, use of Django spaces. Uh, this is very similar to S3 if you want to use S3 when opt the very same process, okay, other than creating an account on AWS and all, okay. So, but using digital ocean spaces is very easy than that of AWS. All right, so last time we were encountering the 500 error problem. So uh, that was mainly because I was missing. So uh, the last heading file location proxy to app thing. So it is here, you can see here. So I was missing this particular thing, okay. And also my server was uh, pointing to some other domain. So I am again writing here the domain name, okay. So it will be uh, go to the insert mode. And you can you can figure out your error because there is a file named uh, nginx error dot in logs folder. Okay, so www dot uh, better than that I have to copy it. I don't remember it. So here I go. I just copied it and now paste it. Sarasmedicine dot com. All right. So uh, now just press uh, escape then. Everything is fine, I think. Colon, right, and quit. All right. So it's now again. Uh, you can restart it. And now, if I go to, if the my domain is pointing correctly on uh, the server, because I just have made that change, so it might not work at this time. Um, but it might work. So let's see. Okay, so it's working very fine. All right. So now the major issue is, as you can see here. that our uh, static files are not being served oh my god so why this is happening so for that we will resolve this issue now with spacesage so now it's time to create uh, a space and we will be creating a new, sta a new space so name the space whatever you want to give it now I'm creating this space and attach, attach this space to the particular file folder now it's done so now go to the uh, API and create access tokens for this space and uh, generate a new token so name the token whatever you want to name it and here you go uh, just you can copy paste here somewhere okay now generate new token for the space key so I'm writing SRS I'm, I'm not needing this token right now okay and uh, make sure that these are very secret thing don't share it with anyone okay all right i have to create new one if i want to continue this project so i am copying this these two downs okay I, they will be here for a while now for that uh, this thing to use we have to navigate to our setting file so uh, in the cyberduck thing open a new connection and uh, everything is fine now let's try to connect so it is saying there's unsecured connection and all so listing failed it is saying so again let's try to connect an open connection I think the address is fine 206 189 the name is urban and everything is fine so instead of this thing we have to use uh, SSH file uh, transfer protocol that is SFTF, uh, SFTP now try to connect it and yeah it should work now okay yeah you can see here that everything is here now so uh, now go to our urban folder uh, which will be, uh, which uh, you can see here will be in the home in the home there's urban and there is a folder named SRS now this is our whole Django thing okay in the file I'm using cyberduck if you are in Windows you have to use some other application and uh, uh, along with putty okay mm, now go to the main project folder and here I have setting.vr file now open it for editing it so text with text edit I am opening it and here you go so one of the most important thing is uh, that you are doing here is adding some settings for uh, static files to serve using AWS thing so uh, what I am doing here is I'm just copying from my previous projects so these are all the AWS things okay now just uh, remove these things and this secret code also we will be pasting by taking from there and 
the bucket name here will be SRS as you know we have created just now and everything is file other than this okay so it's pretty easy now go to the again access tokens and copy the secret token paste it in the secret uh, access token and now copy the SRS main token and then don't share this with anyone yeah <laughs> it's important now uh, just save the setting file but uh, first we have to include storage also here so I'm doing it now so uh, uh, storage is okay here you go now save it it should be small as yeah all right so now everything is fine if uh, our uh, yeah static root media root make sure that you have all these settings uh, in your setting.py file okay these uh, one two three four five lines should be there okay you can name it in this folder whatever this folder whatever but yeah they should be there the static root media root static URLs. okay now just close it out okay then it's time to go to again uh, to cyberduck we have to create uh, a file named utils.py because we will be using it so first we have to install uh, 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 storage django storage is all right so for that we will be needing two things one is django storage other is bottle 3 okay we will be needing both of them so back go back yeah this is the uh, file name which is you can you uh, see errors with nginx error.logs okay so go to now srs file folder and here we go now we have to install it using pip3 uh, here you go so let it get installed and in the meantime we will be doing some other things that includes uh, changing uh, making a utils file by using these three lines of code okay so in our project uh, as you can see here we are already already having utils.py file so now it's time to edit it and add these four lines of code and you can add them anywhere and that's there you go because it is installing from storage so that's why we have installed storage and it's photo 3 that's why we have installed photo 3 okay we will be needing it both and in the settings.py what i have done there as you can see here mm, uh, and that I am using that utils.py to be used as you can see here and the name of the project is not maths yeah this is the big problem that I just finished that it should be as project name dot utils because we are using the utils file okay the utils file is right here all right and uh, we have added these two lines there so I think uh, this should be SRAS and everything is fine now I think and uh, yeah it's okay so it's time to save this thing yeah it's saying that yeah it's upload complete and now we can test that everything is fine or not by using our favorite way that is python manage.py run server you can always do this thing okay it will give you error of uh, django project at least and that if you are having some issue with it python3 manage.py run server and it is saying everything is fine and yeah it's, it's working correctly and just ignore the uh, required uh, the job because of you are a lib3 and uh, this uh, cadet file folder so just ignore them for a while okay now uh, try to look in django so it it, it should work now but uh, first we have to do collect a static thing so python manager by collect a static it will take a while yeah I want to continue because it will be uploading everything uh, with the name to the bucket so it is saying that when calling the put object and I record no such bucket so uh, I might have uh, written some wrong name of the budget bucket let me let me resolve this thing the name is SRA something is fine I think mm, go to the cyber deck again check out the settings and here you go so it is saying that bucket is not there and I think the name is totally fine all right mm. so I, I think it should work uh, because maybe the setting dot no, was not updated at the time we have done this thing so again uh, 
go to the terminal and let's try to restart the Gunicore 9 GNX node and now if I go to um, let me check if what the setting dot file it is using so navigate to SRS main project root and vim settings dot py now you can see here that everything is fine till here and now go to the yeah it is using the AWS storage bucket name at SRS control parameter AWS location SRS and everything is totally fine and it's using SRS utils package and everything is totally fine okay don't terminate it uh, you have to hit comma uh, colon Q for the quit and again run the collect static thing so go to the back so that manage viewer can be accessed and it's again saying that uh, there's much some issue with it put object operation okay Okay, let's check the bucket thing here and then only can we can find out why, why it is not taking so uh, the one solution for this is to generate a new token and the new thing uh, for this thing for the space access space access okay so I'm again uh, I have to delete this thing okay and uh, or you can delete this space at all okay because you should not finding this such a space so okay let me delete this space and we will make a new space again so yeah I have to destroy this space and yeah it's done now and now again we are creating a new space in Singapore region restrict the file listing now again let's say the name which again SRS in the project uh, because I have only one project so it is auto selected now uh, go to the uh, access tokens again once it is created here and we will be generating a new access token here because the name of the project is fine and generate a new key the name is again SRAS and just click it down now copy the two things and Mm, go to the cyber duck open the settings.pr file it is saying that connection is not here all right so again type the URL which is okay so I have to again copy that tokens here all right so name of the folder is urban and password is whatever you have uh, for the droplet you have created for droplet use it and it is saying that unexpected response again so we will have to do something with okay so it is using again HTTP I don't know why taking that all right now now we are in the listing folder go to the home and urban SRS SRS once again settings.pr file and edit it with text edit now go to the API tokens and in this particular thing we are here with our set uh, storage so just copy our uh, let's say to secret token first and in the secret token I am changing it to this particular thing and here we go and now copy this token also and paste it down here all right now we are having the right thing here I think uh, it should work now and SRS everything is totally fine I'm not missing anything I think and yeah it's, it's totally perfect uh, now if I uh, go to some space settings and uh, navigate to the it is SRS dot SGP one and all so you can see that it is control uh, sgp onedigitalocean.com and the bucket name the bucket name you can click from here that is srs 
so i think everything is totally correct because it is being uh, that it should be mapped with this thing and yeah and then endpoint url the endpoint url is digitalocean.com aws location aws location is static so everything should be correct all right and uh, the static file settings everything correct again and now it's time to save it and upload complete done now um, navigate again to the terminal and try to run the correct static all over again and yeah now it is uh, working all right so now it is up they are uploading all of our static files in our uh, srs space so you will see in a moment as you click here so yeah it have created a static folder here now we will see admin and all the files of thing so admin you you might note some django rest framework thing if you are using here in django rest framework yeah as you can see here and yeah 152 is static file copied so it is working perfectly now uh, okay uh, now go to the admin panel again so it is not serving why it not serving uh, just you have to sudo reboot and it will serve the static file automatically from the location where you used there okay so sudo reboot uh, instead of sudo reboot you can do nginx restart and then sudo reboot now if you try to access it it will after a moment will start working for sure wait for a moment the drop loud and drop light is closed now and then it will start again the server connection roll the things will work hand in hand so in this particular uh, tutorial we have seen how to integrate s3 thing with the django project and uh, mainly with the uh, digital ocean we have done this the next thing that we can see here uh, in this uh, deployment is how to connect with web sockets uh, and django channels and redis server and all so i i will be covering in the part three because i am using web, so web sockets in this project okay then uh, these are the three main uh, things that uh, are very problematic if you are a beginner of Django deployment. That's why, because I, I have faced a lot of error and there is a complete book of Django deployment. That's, that's pretty like, oh, wow, oh, very, very dangerous and very uh, like, oh, what is this when you are, you are just beginner of Django and started out working on Django and you see the deployment is not that easy. And now you can see that static files are serving correctly okay so now if you view the page source the shared file will be coming from as you can see here srh.digitalocean.com so these are coming directly from the space if you are using s3 you will see a url with s3.aws and all okay so you can see here that it is uh, from coming from digitalocean spaces so everything worked correctly thank you so much and we'll be covering uh, other cool steps